Now presenting Forest Star Walls in POTUS of Destiny. Oh, hi there. I'm the future president of the United States, talking to you live. I'm going to vape all through the debates, by the way. People ask me about women's rights. Well, if I am elected president, I will ensure that women will get paid the same wage for doing the same work. If I am elected president, there will be no more locker room talk. We all know what that's code for. Hmm. Every man, woman, and child who crosses the border into this country, those poor refugees, will all receive a free car. I believe that marriage is between a man and a woman and a dog and sometimes two men, other times it's women. I don't I don't really want to talk about this anymore. You get a car and you get a car and you get a car and you get a car. The feminists have been lobbying for this for a long time. And as president, I assure you that we will once and for all Get rid of mansplaining. Also, manspreading, a very serious problem. Also, uh, mandibular, mantastic, mangina. Ma uh, as president, we will no longer tolerate the scourge of toxic masculinity. Russian aggression has gone too far. Under my presidency, we will no longer pay the Russians to take us to space. And we will no longer have a space program, and that will show those Russians. Women's rights will be the first of my concerns, along with Muslim rights. There's a question that has been plaguing people since the beginning of time, and it is unconscionable to me that a former president has not answered this question, or investigated a council to answer this question, or had meetings about answering this question. The question is, which came first, the chicken or Congress? Four Square was seven years ago. Our forefathers invented Facebook. Social media is the new black. Is that right? Because we need to be tough on the border. And we are a nation of immigrants. We need to hire immigrants to go and protect our border. Under my presidency, we will outlaw cigarettes. Altogether, some people have criticized me because I have not yet chose a running mate. But what are vice presidents really good for anyway? I mean, do you really know what they even do? Th look, I got it handled. I'll get one. And just, just vote for me, okay? Even though there is no justification for such a law. As president, I will introduce anti-lynching legislation. Under my presidency, women's rights come first. No longer will people be forced to not abort their babies. In fact, under my presidency, we will make late-term abortion mandatory. Under my presidency, we will no longer embrace weather modification technology. Instead, we will choose to recycle, reuse, and reduce. If we truly want to prevent fascism in our time, we're going to need to silence anyone who disagrees with us. You know that, don't you? Don't you? People throw out a lot of terms like socialist, communist, but the truth is that just because those systems 
haven't worked yet. That doesn't mean that they can't work. See, nobody's tried to do fascism properly. I am 164th Native American Meskwaki Indian and proud. The citizenry has suffered too long from ad hominem attacks, and as president, I will assure that we will take care of ad hominems. As well, we will also prevent ad antonym attacks, ad synonym attacks, adverb attacks. We'll put a tax on the attacks, and we'll end it for good. I am going to appoint Madonna in charge of blowing up the White House so that I can build a new house that is not white. If the insurance companies won't play ball with free healthcare for all, I will ban doctors. Many people are unaware of what are called blue laws. Blue laws are laws that are still on the books, but are antiquated, archaic laws. As president, I will ensure that the forbidden dance of love is legal again. You may all do the lambada. For the first time in history, you will be casting your vote for someone who is not on the left, not on the right. I am in the middle of everything. I don't even have a platform. I have a D platform. I don't have policy. I have sub policy. I don't have a beautiful supermodel wife. I say to you today, my friends, though even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up, live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream that one day, even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Many American presidents have embraced war. Well, my position on war is that it's bad. So don't worry about that, okay? I got it. Even before I am made president, I will call Vladimir Putin and I will tell him to knock it off. I say knock it off. Just knock it off. In a western town in a dead end world, with eastern boys and western girls. Western girls. My official position is more like my unofficial sub position on nuclear power. And it is as follows I am not in support, but I am supporting nuclear energy and by the time that my presidency is done I intend to make Ruth Bader Ginsburg a saint ask not what you can do for your country ask instead yo country what's up what you got for me huh give us your tired your poor your broke you're hungry, you're starving, you're basically already dead people, and just ship them over here. And now, on a more serious note. Some people have criticized America for its education system not being what it once used to be. However, our education system was only on top because of our white supremacy. Now that we're giving chances to other countries, uh, our performance standards have to be lower so that they can rise up. 
Make sense? Ask not what you can do for your country. Ask instead, Hey country, what can I do you for? No longer will we accept American exceptionalism. From now on, we are always going to be unexceptional. And we will make no exception. When I am president, I am going to call up Israel and once and for all ask them, how many nukes do you guys have? Organized religion is something that we're going to have to work on. Hmm? In order to make up for many lifetimes of inequality that women have suffered due to policies of our past, under my presidency, I will seek legislation to make women eligible for the draft, as well as I will make it illegal to draft men. Ask not what you can do for your country. Ask instead, what country can do you for? Wait, ask not what you can do for your country. Ask instead, country, what you do can for. Damn it. When we allow freedom to ring, when we let it ring from every city and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, great God Almighty, we are free at last. And how many presidents can sing? I'm gonna be president, I'm gonna be president, I'm gonna be president if you vote for me. I'm gonna be president, president, a resident president, I'm gonna be president, you'll see. I hope that you can see within your heart and make the right decision this election season. Please make sure to vote, you know, because we don't have a lot of people voting. A lot of people don't even care. It's kind of why I'm running. But, but please, get out there. Vote for me, your future president. Vote for me. Vote for me. Ask not what you can do for your country. Ask instead what you can do for me.